What's up, you guys? It's your girl T with a T, and we are at King of Diamonds in Atlanta. I want my boy Casanova. What's up, Casanova? Man, I'm marvelous. I'm feeling good. We out here Tuesday night, just a cold Tuesday. You already know the vibes. I'm sorry, I got a ghetto style today. Like usually, I have a tiny microphone. That's my thing. But today, I just had to, you know what I'm saying, pull out my phone because. My little tiny microphone was only twelve dollars, and yeah, she won't doing all that good stuff. But anyway, so tell me a little bit about yourself. Where you from? I'm from Newark, New Jersey. Newark, New Jersey. Everybody moving down south. Where you get down here? See, I've been down here for about ten years now, though. Hey man, that's that's me too. I've been in North Carolina for what, going on eleven years. You know what I'm saying? But you can never take the Baltimore out of me. So when did you get out of here? When did, when did you get down here? I do nothing but music. Yeah, music and I just grind, you know. Just try to put my best foot forward, you know, to make things happen. Okay. So tell me, how did you get the name Casanova? Casanova was created by the ladies. You know what I mean? The only reason why they it was created by the ladies because I was a youngster getting my heart broken. You know what I'm saying? So as I got older, I turned into a beast. Okay, okay. Period. When did you start doing music? I started doing music at the age of 15. At the age of 15? Yeah. Okay, so I know when you was around, we had none of these makeshifts, we had none of these like on the phone studios and shit, so when did you really get into the studio? I got into the studio, at first I started with like a little uh, tape recorder that had the little mic on it. Yeah, I'm old, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not that old, but I'm like old. Tape yeah. We had, we had the, like the little um, radio that had the um, two tape decks and had a little mic on top of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm an 87 baby. I'm an 80 baby. Yeah. You feel me? That. Facts. <laughs> um, and we started, and I started like that doing little tapes like that. But by the time I was like 16, I got into Mad Bay Studio that was on Main Street in North. And I recorded my first record. Okay. So. Your first record. So tell us about your last record. Well, or whatever you performed tonight. Tell us. Tell us about those songs. Um. Well, before the song that I performed tonight, I released a record that's out now called "Wasn't Enough," and it's on my IG. Um. The new song that we dropping right now is a club hit banger. It's gonna be crazy. It's called "Yeah Yo." We releasing that through Empire. Shout out to DJ Wally Coyote and um, Godzi at Empire. We about to make a. We about to make this shit pop like crazy. The whole new. It's a whole wave. It's about to be crazy. So, did you move down here, like, move to Atlanta just for your music, or, like, what? Yeah, definitely. I came out here just for the music, because, you know, Atlanta became the Mecca at the time. You know what I mean? So, I've been getting a lot of love. I've been getting a lot of love in Atlanta. So, it's like my second home. You know what I mean? I plant my feet in the soil, and it's been nothing but love ever since. Okay, that's respect. Oh, my God. I really hope they can hear us over this. This shit so loud. So, like I was saying, um, so, hold up. So you told me, you said that the, the, the last song is? Yeah, yo. Yeah, yo, okay. So do you live that street life? Matter of fact, what's your genre of music? Like, what are you, what's, if I didn't ever hear of you or nothing like that, who, what, like, what can I be expecting? I mean, you could be expecting whatever I put out. You know what I mean? I am. I was raised in the streets as well, you know. But at the same time, I got older and I matured. And I found ways to, you know, put my energy in, be in better places than just the streets. You know what I'm saying? I'm a father. You know what I'm saying? So I got to, you know, smart enough. Okay, that's respect, respect. Shout out to the baby. Definitely shout out to all four of my babies. By the same lady, right? No, you know what they say. Right? No, let me stop messing with you. It's all good. Hey, um, my name is Jasonova. What can I say? Look, a ladies' man. Okay. Um. So, as far as your inspirations, who are you inspired by? Well, who's your music inspired by? Tupac. Tupac. Why Tupac? Tupac. I mean, why not Tupac? He's kind of depressing sometimes. No, but he's real at the same time. And we go through a lot of depressing shit, you know what I'm saying? And it's always feel good to know that somebody out there at, at that level 
go through the same shit that you go through. Sometimes, you know, we be needing to hear shit like that. Cause I don't sit, I don't sip lean and I don't do all that weird shit. You know what I'm saying? All these pills, popping pills and all that shit, that shit don't do nothing for me. Like I said, I was born in the 80s, so I grew up on 90s music. So, so I'm a different breed. I also fuck with Rick Ross, I, I fuck with Meek, I fuck with Pop Smoke, rest in peace to the homie. Um, fuck with Kevin Gates, Money Bags, you know what I'm saying? So, when you hear me, you hear, you hear all types of flavor. Actually, me and a colleague were just saying that you really sound like Pop Smoke. You really give that, like, New York, Uptown vibe. So, you say you've been in the Carolinas for, like, 10 years. Not Carolinas, been in Georgia for 10 years. So I'm like, where, where, where the country part at? Where the, you supposed to have like your little accent, a little something? Well, I definitely got some track. I got some trap shit, definitely. But at the same time, I'm still an up north nigga. You know what I'm saying? That shit can't. That shit don't leave me. Even though I've been out here for ten years, that's because I've been going back and forth for ten years. You feel me? So I'm still an up north nigga at the end of the day. So you gonna get that that New York, New Jersey vibe from me? You know what I mean? But I still definitely got that drip. For, the, for like from Atlanta, definitely. I, I, I definitely got it. That's, that's no question. Okay. So, as far as like upcoming projects, what you got coming up next? Right now, we just focus on getting Yayo out. You know what I'm saying? Then we're gonna get, get the video shot done in Miami. Like I said, we're gonna put it out through Empire of this record. It's about to be crazy. It's about to be a whole new movement. Y'all look out for that. Okay. That sounds really exciting. Where do you see your music taking you? Mm. Somewhere different from today. That's all I can say. Come on, now. you gotta give me a better one than that. I mean, like me personally, I don't, I don't even look that far. Mm -hmm. Get what I'm saying? I understand. I, I look, I look where my music can take me at tomorrow. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So where, where somewhere is taking you that you were surprised about? Here. King of Diamonds. Yeah. Wow. Just like today, the present time, right here. The fact that you interviewing me, it got me here with you right now. So I'm embracing this moment. This is a special moment. Because ain't no telling where this interview is going to be. You know what I'm saying? So I'm focused, I'm more focused on the moment. Ain't no telling where I'm going to be in five years. But right now, it's positive vibes. It's a positive energy. So right now, I appreciate this moment. You know what I'm saying? Future, the past, and the present right now is really the present for real. So, are you enjoying the strippers? Huh? Are you enjoying the strippers? Oh, I love them. I always enjoy them. So, before we end it, do you have any like shout outs? Yeah, shout out to my brother Rich Mo, shout out to DJ Wally Coyote, shout out to others, the Empire, shout out to B Moon, Moon Group Management. And follow me on IG at Casanova the Dawn. That's K A S I N O V A the Dawn. Okay, period. And shout out to the sister Tia. Shout out to, to the sister Tia, Rise Under the Heat. She lit. Make sure you come get your motherfucking interview. Be untouchable. Period. I, uh, it's your girl T with a T. And we out. Peace. Casting over to the dawn. I'm just speaking from the heart. That black rose, that group, let me be mesmerized. I'm busy father that go harder even to survive. Paralyzed, feeling hopeless like I'm losing time. Shadow wings with deadly winds can make it hard to fly. How can I lie when the world watch my every move? All I got is my soul, so I'ma tell the truth. Even when it hurts, I find a way to maintain. I'm addicted to the grind, just like the dope game. Trusting mama words, these niggas don't deserve a seat. 
Even when I made a fool, they wouldn't let me eat My lack of knowledge made their wallets look like ATMs I understand the game, I never make mistakes again I'm just speaking for